Greetings, 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 everyone. This is Kimmy, Mama Kimmy Flowers, and I am coming to you today with a video on womb, womb, <laughs> womb health. I've been getting a lot of uh, inquiries, and I guess, you know, people asking me, hey, Mama Kimmy, why haven't you spoken on the womb? What's going on? Hey, well, here it is. So, anyway, I hope that um, this message finds you in happiness achieving wholeness, healing, balancing, fearlessness, courage, all of those good things. Um, today is Friday, okay? Today is Friday. I thought it was, good. I thought it was a good day to, to speak on the womb. I don't know why. It just felt, it just felt right. I've, I've made videos before and then I'm like, okay. And then after I, I feel, I'm like, mm, it didn't feel right. So, but anyway, yeah. So the womb, Wow, I don't, I don't even know where to start. It, I, I don't even know where to start. The womb is the everything, you know, everything comes through the womb, you know, one way or another, whether even in flowers and in and, and all these different things, the, the womb, the egg, the woman, the, the seed, the egg, just, it, it is everything. It's the protector. It is the nourisher. It is the guide. It gives all the information. It, it, it sustains life. It's, it's amazing what the womb can do. Um, but where much is given, much is required. Um, I see a lot of, you know, the I, I, people that they, you know, are feminists and all this, all this stuff, you know, um, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. <clears throat> and one thing that I notice is that there's this increasing, as the feminine energy rises, there's this increasing push towards, um, like more towards of feminism. And there's a lot of uh, misdirected and misguided energy there. Um, a lot of that energy that's coming to the surface is necessary, but we have to work together. <laughs> we, we definitely have to work together. And the idea that a woman uh, is able now this is these are my opinions here I'm starting this video off with my opinions that a woman is able to engage in sexual intercourse with anybody she wants and as many people she wants it's very true but also know that with every action there's a reaction there are consequences and ramifications for doing such and um, I remember in my early 20s, the thing, I, I didn't believe that. And then as I got older and I started doing a lot of healing and really focusing on my womb, I started realizing how many issues were coming up from that time. You know, so um, even through my battle with cancer of my womb, my battles with endometriosis, polycystic, ov polycystic ovaries, uh, miscarriage, infertility, all these things that I battled with, even after these things, I still had a lot of of residual emotional healing and um, healing that I had to do from past partners that you as a woman do carry a lot of this energy around. I, I don't necessarily um, try to tell people how to live their lives or what to do, but I will tell you the way that the energy works. There's universal laws and things that this is just how it works. I'm sorry. You know, a woman can carry one child. A man can make a million of them. You know, it's just it's so much is is required of us as far as with our wounds because they hold everything, everything from your emotional issues, um, generational, ancestral issues, all type of issues are held there. And it, basically, it's like a second mind, you know, um, <clears throat> and, and this is why I feel that women are harder to, to mind control as far as like with the whole, you know, they have to do a lot. They have to do a lot of sexual programming, a lot of sexual control. They have to do a lot of rape. You notice that when they do a lot of MK Ultra mind controlling things, they go through a whole cycle with these women. They they go through the sex kitten programming and they attack the womb because the womb can override a lot. That womb wisdom is very powerful. That's that serpent wisdom. That's that thirteen. That's everything. You the womb, the woman are thirteen. Um, that that high vibrational frequency, that rebirth, that destruction, that healing, that restoration, you are all of that in one when you are balanced and whole and achieving wholeness. And what is balance and wholeness? You know, like people say that all the time. But when you are working with the planet in a way that is not parasitic, 
and just over consuming over consuming and you know I'm always trying to make up words but um but yeah taking the time to heal taking the time to address those issues talk to yourself um if you don't feel like you have if you feel like you don't have any issues you know there are some things that you can definitely um do to test yourself you know do you find yourself thinking automatically negative when, you know, another woman comes around like, oh, my God, what is she? Oh, my God, look at her. These are things that I've had to deal with, you know, to in my own healing. Um, or do you find yourself trying to group a whole bunch of people into one sub, like men? Like, oh, men, there's all these men. And then you keep on attracting the one kind of man. Um, when you attract a partner, you guys are attracting on a level of, of connection there. There's something that you guys vibrate um, vibratory connect on and you it starts from the bottom up so if there's a lower vibrational connect there that's what's going to link up first we are in this third dimensional density this is that that grounding mechanism that grounding principle those are you know <clears throat> very um a lot of people have a lot of lower vibrational relationships and things and then as soon as that healing takes place the relationship seems to go by the wayside and that's not a bad thing that is a part of healing and growth and you have to shed old leaves so that the seasons can come into play just new seasons it's old seasons and new seasons but anyway um yeah there's you know deep down if you've been molested if you've had sexual issues and any of those things you know that there are most likely some residual issues there stemming from these things and they're energetical and you do need to address them <clears throat> One way that I found addressing them um, is through celibacy, using that sexual energy for myself, holding it in. Um, you know, in, when I start feeling an urge, I take that energy and I just, in my mind, I envision it moving up, all the way up, and then down. And then it gets really hot and warm. You know, that visualization, that imagination, it is everything. You know, you eventually get to a point where you start to feel these things and manifest this healing into your body. Don't be so, oh, if I don't see it, I have to see it to believe it. That right there, pfft, no, because a lot of these, these energies you just can't see. But you get to a point where you can really feel them. And that warmth that is sitting in your womb, just let it oscillate and go all around in a circle, in a spiral. You know, a 360 degree stiff spiral just around there and speak life and healing. Forgive yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are. Forgive every, everything, everyone, people that have wronged you, people that have touched you, people that have ex explored you, explored you without your own um, consent. You know, <clears throat> a lot of these things happen to men, too. A lot of these things happen to men, too. And it's very clear, you know, so a lot of these exercises are, are geared towards men as well. I speak on the womb because I have a woman. I am a woman. I can't necessarily speak on all of this. And I've, and I've had issues with these things. So I can't necessarily speak on the healing from a man's perspective. I could, but not as not as good as a man could. So I that's why I focus more on the womb because I am a womb. I'm a, I'm a woman that, and I'm just sharing the things that I've done on my path to get to where I, I am now, healing and still trying to restore others. Um, so yeah, your diet is everything. You know, cutting out certain things. If you have polycystic ovarian issues. Uh, endometriosis a lot of these things let's start cutting out wheat and dairy okay wheat and dairy are you gonna are your are your biggest offenders um you know pork all these meats and stuff are very dense they're very heavy they get your energy moving super slow and they also kind of try to get your dna and your vibration to along with it to try to kind of match to match it you know that's why when people eat these meats and stuff they get they get sleepy and tired you know they get when they because their body is trying to fight it off you know those white bloods of the itis that inflammation that's what itis is it means inflammation of like arthritis bronchitis all these things and i'll speak on that health the, the health side of things a little bit more in another video but definitely um you know taking into consideration that the that any womb issues you have from bv to yeast infections all these things uh, uh, vaginal odors pains uh heavy periods those things can be reversed 
I don't care what your so-called doctor says. Everything is connected. You have to address these issues. They look at it from a physical standpoint. When you are not just a physical being, you are a spiritual being. You have this amazing etherical body to you that you that comes into play most definitely in everything. The woman has so much power. I mean, and it's it's being misused either via ourselves or men trying to control it or whatever or other women trying to control it you know but we have so much power that's why you know like when back in the club days back in the club days you know they would say women they get in free of course because the where the women is where the energy is it's this the, the men that they need that, that energy they're going to come but make sure that your energy is very pure you know, make sure that it's clear, make sure that you're not attracting these lower vibrational parasitic dudes, you know, and that's something that I, I've also had to learn about my own energy and the type of men that I was attracting. No more, <laughs> no more. I'm focusing my energy in on myself and healing and balancing and restoration. And I will share everything with you and everything that I have done to bring my womb to a point to where it is today, away from the issues of vaginal odor, away from the issues of bacterial vaginosis, away from the issues of yeast infections, away from the issues of cancer, away from the issues of infertility and heavy periods and long periods. I had periods that were like seven, eight days, nine days, sometimes 10 that would come. It was very weird the way they would come, but no more no more you know those days are over i have nice short periods two two and a half days sometimes one one and no more than three and it's beautiful okay and they're painless it's more spiritual now because it's like i've gotten broke through that pain that that mm, because that pain is letting you know that there's something there that needs to be addressed there's something there that needs to be addressed and it's and it's not so in order to address it i'm going to show you some i'll give you some things that i have definitely you know have worked for me on my website on heal thyself 360 i recently within the past three months posted my deluxe sits bath is under the baby and, and woman um section and the deluxe sits bath is basically a womb cleansing ritual or a just for the womb <clears throat> it comes with the affirmations the consultation the sits bath the, the herbs and all of that for 13 moons and this is a time and candles and incense and all the stuff that i make um but this is a time that you need to be present for yourself this makes you sit down at least once every every moon to for yourself for a couple hours and be present for your own healing be present for everything that has taken place in that month stressors relationships work being a mother all that stuff on hold for a couple hours for you to be present for yourself as a woman as a woman we give so much we put out so much we're always putting this energy out but you know what about what we need to do to refuel ourselves and that's what the deluxe sits bath is about is about refueling yourself healing yourself taking time to be present that heat when you sit your womb i'll show you what the sits bath looks like this is what it looks like okay this one is you know an old one so i grabbed it i have brand new ones to pack up in the pla in plastic but the the sits bath looks like this and you take and it has um it comes with the, of course, this um, a bag that you put the warm water in, and then you boil the herb. Comes I I, I sent all the instruction, and it um you know you sit your your vagina your womb in here your yoni and that heat man that heat is just like when you have a fever that brings that it's supposed to you know bring all the blood everything there for healing. That's what that heat does. That heat will bring all the blood and bring whatever is needed there to help cleanse out the impurities. And while you speak words of affirmation, while you speak life to yourself, I am beautiful. I am whole. I am healing. I am these things. Then you will realize that slowly but surely over time, your body will start to line up with the word. Your body will start to line up with the word. That is the beauty of the most highs. That is the beauty of God. That is the beauty of creator. That is the beauty of being able to have control of yourself, taking control of your healing, healing yourself, bringing yourself back into the seat of a womb, back into the seat of a leader, back into the seat of a creator, back into the seat of a healer, back into the seat of a divine womb. You know, these are the things that need to be done. Um, of course, diet, not drinking alcohol, flushing your body, detoxing, you know, 
um, the, the feminine products that we use, the lotions, all this stuff plays in a part. Think about this. Anything that you're putting on your body is going in your body. That's ever, anything. So if, you're looking, if you look on the back of your lotion, if you look on the back of something and it says, uh, you know, it has X, Y, and Z, you know, all this sodium lauryl sulfates, all these different chemicals, you know that you're basically eating it. Right, because you're putting it on your skin. Your skin acts as a both it it both allows toxins out and in. You know, so it, it it's very absorbent, and is also considered to be a part of the excretory system. So yes, um, the feminine products that we're using are pads. A lot of those things are soaked in chlorine, soaked in all types of chemicals, uh, dyes or uh, scents, fragrance, all types of things. And guess what? Your cervix absorbs everything it is like a wick <laughs> it is like a wick those tampons ditch them all those things if you're going to use these things make sure that you're finding organic um you know organic brand tampons or these things you know i'll post a link at the bottom for the organic disposable tampons I'm trying to give you ladies options because i know a lot of y'all are not about that life that i'm about to talk about so <laughs> so yeah the organic disposable tampons are are the best um if you're going to use tampons the ones that don't have dyes and fragrances and all that kind of stuff some of them you do have to use your finger to push them up but it's yours and that blood shouldn't stink anyway if it stinks and things like that, that's telling you that, you know, there's toxins there. If it's dark red blood, you know that you have womb issues. If it's heavy and clotty, you know you have womb issues. It should be bright red and not clotty and light. Definitely, you know. Um, so anyway, I have my C-Star Sequoia at Koya 13 Designs, Q-U-O-I-A-S 13 Designs. Um, I'll post her link but she also, but she makes these amazing, uh, reusable, uh, womb pads, like cloth pads. This is it right here. And it oop, clips. So I have these little clippies. Pretty neat. Reusable. Uh, she has like four for like $30 or something like that. And I mean, they're reusable. You know, you can wash them. She has ones for super, like, people that bleed heavy or light bleeders. She's going to be putting the liners in them soon, the waterproof lining in them. So keep an eye out for that. But those, these are the ones that I use. These are the ones that I use. I was making my own, but now she makes them. So I will support sis and use these. They're very well made. Um, she's amazing, y'all. She is amazing. This is the womb that I spoke about before that did, had an unassisted birth. Um... And that's amazing <laughs> as a doula and somebody that had, I have never, I have never, I didn't deliver my son unassisted. That's deep. So anyway, yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about that. You know, the reusable cloths, get it together, ladies. Quit allowing these corporations to poison your vagina. That is yours. You know, don't let them do that. Don't do that. You know, you have the information now. I'm here telling you. So Get it together, ladies. We got to get it together. We've got to get it together. You know, if you see me on the timeline, you know, talking crazy to somebody about something, you know that it's in love, you know, because I'm definitely got that mama energy. I'm going to let you know, hey, you know, you don't need to be eating that bacon. No bacon. Bye. Say bye to the bacon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let that go. That bacon is terrible. I feel like I need to hit y'all get Ooh, quit eating that bacon. And the girl that I've been getting on about it knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that bacon girl. Okay. So, um, and also, a lot of people don't know about an enema. This, I, I stand by the enema, okay? Because I, um, I've used it. I think it's amazing. And it's good for cleansing um, and uh, stimulating bowel production. I do the coffee enema. I've seen some mixed things on the internet, you know, people say this and that, but I've been doing it for years and I had never had any problems. But this is what the enema kit looks like. Oops, wrong way. It all fell out the bottom. But this is what it looks like. This one is new. Tube. Inserts that got different sizes. Yeah, clippies. 
But yeah, man, you know, at the end of the day, we got this. If we start taking, being proactive with our health, do you know what that will do? Start, instead of waiting until we start itching and stinking and feeling bad and feeling heavy and bloated and all that, that we be proactive in eating healthy regularly, detoxing our bodies regularly, encouraging each other regularly. You see your sister doing something that is not conducive to her health. You in a loving way say, hey, sis, what about that bacon? Or, hey, sis, you know that chicken got, oh, hey, sis, you know McDonald's be, no, hey, sis, you know that stuff that you, girl, you using these tampons, girl, what? You know, that type of stuff. Looking out for each other in love, you know, because we have to look out for each other. Guess what? Nobody else is going to look out for us. Nobody else is going to look out for us. We have to look out for each other. No more of this going back and forth, tearing your sister down, talking about, you know, oh, you this and that, talking about you ugly. Talk. Encourage your sisters. Uplift them. A lot of us are out here hurting already. We don't need you. We don't need extras. We got uh, people on, you know, all kind of other people, men, uh, whatever, you know, that are always trying to come down on you. We don't need our sisters doing that. And then we got some big brothers that are looking out for us too. But at the end of the day, we sisters, man, we got to get it together, you know, share our ideas, share, uplift, encourage, reach out, go within, be still. You know, those are so, that's so important, y'all. That is so important. And detaching yourself from people that not, you know, and when I say detach, I'm not saying never, ever, ever see them and talk to them. I'm talking about energy. Energy. You can stop talking to somebody all you want to and stop looking at this person every day and stop calling them, but that doesn't mean you are detached, okay? Because we're speaking energy here. You can be very attached to somebody energetically. There, there's work that has to be done for detachment. There's work that has to be done for detachment. You know, attachment is very physical. It's very parasitic in nature. You shouldn't be attached to anything, period, in this realm. Because it's like a weight. It's an anchor. Um, connections are very spiritual, very beautiful, very necessary. Keep those healthy connections going. Keep all of that good energy flowing. Um, but with that being said, that is it. I just had to talk about this a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of our diet and breastfeeding. So I'll just say this real quick. Okay, when you are breastfeeding, there are certain things that I feel that should not be eaten. Wheat and dairy are main things that should not be eaten when breastfeeding. There are so many issues that I have seen with a lot of my mothers, breastfeeding mothers, my lactating mothers, and um, <clears throat> that affects their milk supply and as well as the baby. Keep in mind, as a breastfeeding mother, every single thing that you're putting in your body, your baby's getting it. So you eating that McDonald's human hamburger? Guess what? You're getting your your baby is getting it. If you're uh, drinking that little that alcohol, your baby's getting a dose of it. If you're over here eating all this bull crap, your baby is getting that. Your baby is getting all of that. You know, so do better. You know, we got to we got to. Uh, set a good foundation for our babies they are our future they're gonna teach us so much these babies that come in you know oh my gosh it is amazing like to see all of the beauty you know i i look at my mother her having me being you know in a foreign country you know my mother is panamanian i was born in in panama colon isa de Pelenque. and you know my mom uh, just growing up on a natural diet, lifestyle, plenty of sun. So I was born, um, and I feel very different too, you know, um, born unvaccinated on literally on the beach, on the beach, literally, you know, like, wow, under the 13th sign, 
on the first blood moon of 1985 in Panama. I was like, well, you know, I had my girlfriend do my chart for me. And, you know, when she was telling me all this stuff, I was just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what? Because I've never been into astrology, you know. So, um, and she did my chart for me. And it was just pretty amazing. But anyway, see, I just go off onto onto another subject. But anyway, I will post all this information in the link below, okay? I am, I promise. So, anyways, you guys have a... <laughs> I'm feeling good today, y'all. You guys have a beautiful day. Happy womb healing. Happy healing. I love you guys. So, I want to leave you in balance, wholeness fearlessness, courage, all of those good things, and know that no weapon formed against you will prosper, unless you allow it, unless you allow it. The, the, the weapons down here that people have to use against you, you have all the abilities to rise above them, honey, believe me, you, you know, so with that being said, you guys have a beauty filled, beauty filled, beauty filled day. Happy Friday. Get yourself some sun. Eat yourself some fruit. Get yourself some stretch on. Happy, happy Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> Bye, y'all.